Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Keto. Back with another tutorial. Now, it's been a mean minute since I did a tutorial on the channel, but as you can see, your boy got the face cam. Stuff like that. I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. Like I said already, I don't know why it's... Anyway, we're gonna be doing a masking tutorial. Specifically, a roto brush masking tutorial. So, you ever been like, yo... I don't feel like masking with the pen tool. I'm too lazy for that shit. I just want to do something quick, but I still want it to look good and stuff, right? I got you. So I'm going to teach you guys how to um, roto brush mask. Now, honestly, it's super easy, but like, I feel like not enough people know what it is. I'm pretty sure, yes, there's tons of tutorials out there. You can go watch it, but... Look, I'm making it for my channel, all right? Um, it's real easy. Just make sure you have the clip that you want to mask over or whenever like that. Hold on, I got caps on. Now, before we even start the tutorial, I want to just tell you guys, like, make sure, like, the color, like, the color what you're trying to mask out is not too similar to the background because you see how Vegeta, his, like, color's not, like, similar to the colors behind him and stuff like that. I don't even know if that makes sense. Basically... You don't want the thing that you're trying to mask out be the same color as the background because it's going gonna, it's gonna to flop. That being said, let's get straight into it. Click on this uh, Roto Brush tool right here. It's the little, um, little I, want, I guess you would say stick man. I, 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 don't, I don't know. <laughs> stick man or um, with a paintbrush. But uh, click on this tool right there, man. And then double click on the clip. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna bring you to this um, composition. Note, um, you want to do this in full quality because it's not gonna let you do it in half or anything under full quality. You have to do it in full quality, and what you masking out has to be the same frame rate as you know that you editing in. So, if I'm like. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm editing 23 for this particular tutorial video. I usually edit in 30. I'm editing 23 976, and this clip itself, I'm gonna go ahead over here and show you guys. Head over the project. The clip itself is 23.976. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, when you're doing this, got to be the same as the clip. Yeah. So literally, now some of you guys are gonna get mad, but like, yo, this dumb easy. <laughs> All you do. Okay, hold on. But first, some of you guys um circle might be like this. Make sure that um the circle is little as possible. So literally, how do you like make it small and big? Literally hold control on your keyboard and then click, hold down the right click and then like drag it. Just drag your mouse literally. So it should look something like this. That's all you do. So make sure it's little as possible. Like you can't even see it no more. I mean you could do what you want you can have it big but me personally i'm just telling you what i do i personally just have it all the way small all you do is just literally just scroll on there and it's gonna draw itself on the object or character whatever you're trying to mask out now you want to make sure the yellow i mean i said the yellow the, um the purple line is outlining what you're trying to match so if you don't know what that looks like all you do is just hold the letter h and then drag and then this is gonna pop up and this is what you got masked so far okay with me so far all right if you want to go back literally take your hand off of h and then just continue doing what you was doing like masking it out and they'll go back to normal so literally just make sure um the purple line is outlining what you trying to mask so you see how the line is like kind of like just above his armor right here I, I literally just drag until it's outlining his uh body now again hold h to see what you got so far because you don't want to mask looking funny looking so yeah and just continue to see what love it you got a mask okay i'm gonna make an example real quick let's say you fucked up and you did something like this or something and you, you don't want that and you just keep doing this like why is it fixing all you do is just hold alt and then um drag 
his whole alt and drag and just fit it back onto his armor. So if you guys hear that in the background, <laughs> I'm in a party check with the homie. And shit. Oh, he, he dipped. That's tough. But yeah, sometimes it could be a, a bit tedious. But you know, if you want something to look good, you're gonna have to put the time in, my guy. All right, so we got that. And just, just literally finished the process. And uh, another tip, if you want to get extra detail, you can just scroll on your mouse and hold H to move around and just get up close and personal so you can get those edges really neatly as possible. You know, everything not going to be perfect, but you want to make it look presentable and decent looking at least. And plus, I mean, like I said, we could do something about this. I mean, like I said, it's, it's not bad at all. I mean, who, who's who's going to notice that? But I'm just saying, though, we one of those type of people. Yeah, I mean, it can be fixed to some degree. But sometimes, it, like, the animation on this is pretty good. So it's not going to be like any, like, rough edges or anything like that. So, I, but what, I, what I'm about to do at the end it'll help with that too as well if your stuff come out a bit rough so literally that's how you do it and then you literally just do frame by frame you don't have to cut like you do when you um doing a mask with the pen tool so just if you're trying to go frame by frame on ae if you guys didn't know you don't have to fucking cover over to the cursor and go over literally just hold control and then arrow the arrow to the right on your keyboard just like that and what it'll do it'll actually track the uh the image like if it's like like I say if it's a good animation it's not going like one frame it's right here and then the next frame might be all the way over there or some or he'd be doing a whole different position it'll um actually track it now sometimes you will have to adjust it every frame so for the most part on this one it's good so i just keep going through you know you just keep doing this frame by frame so it still looks good still looks good you know uh let me see here good i can do a little bit of adjustments you, you see what i'm saying like stuff like this right here kind of like just fix that up oh and then drag Whoops. You not do it. Mean do that. I ain't it. Looks alright. This neck right here could be fixed up a bit. So just think of it like, you know, um the green is like adding and then the um the red is subtracting. Yeah, and you just do it frame by frame. Uh, I might just cut to when I'm done because I don't want the video to be too long. I just want to give you guys the concept so you can do whatever it is you're trying to do or just make your life a little bit easier because some people are not about that pen tool life. Uh, I might just show you guys a little bit more and then I'm just, I'm gonna cut. I don't think it is anything else besides what, like the settings here, what I'm about to tell you. Make sure the color is not too similar to the background. All right, so after you completed the whole entire mask, or whatever you're trying to do it could be three frames four frames 20 frames 10 frames whatever it might be um i usually use these settings right here um uh, honestly i i don't have particular settings for like none of my stuff except for like my twitch and my shakes but any even with that i adjust it to um the clip or whatever i'm trying to do i'm always changing settings around to you know get that look that i'm trying to go for but for the most part, I do something along the lines with these. The feather, I usually put it on 10. I'm gonna just reset everything so you guys can see. 
you see how like it's kind of like just a bit rough around the edge it's not too choppy but you know you still want to get that look this is how the default set is gonna look i usually put it um the settings on 10 the feather on 10 and i literally just uh, adjust the um the shift as the shift as is just basically like um it's cutting into the uh the masking object that you just masked and basically like if you just trying to go outward it's gonna bring more the background outward see look if i just keep going yeah some of the background right here and then it was like broly armor and stuff like that so it's kind of just what that is so i kind of want to cut into the image a bit so um get rid of some of those edges rough edges so some around yeah <laughs> basically like literally what i just had negative 22 that might be a good setup for you but like i said this might not work on what you're trying to do you literally have to adjust it to the clip or whatever you're trying to do bro like this is just for you to get the concept not exactly what you're trying to do you should get something like this yeah but yeah you should get something like that hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial man like i know y'all been asking for it for a mean minute so let me know what tutorial you want to see down below in the comments make sure to leave a like on the video man because you know videos and stuff like this take time and effort just show some love on the um the video no like go and nothing like that but you know just leave a like on the video if it helped you out in any shape or form i see you on my next edit or my next tutorial i guess we out